My name's Guy Kesteven, and today I'm going to put you on a fast track to lighter, faster, surprisingly reliable and consistently grippy performance at an absolute bargain price by talking to you uh, about the specialised fast track. What do you need to know about it? Uh, now I've had me a little heart to heart. Very rounded, kind of almost centre line alternating tread. Uh, with spicing and some siping as well. Uh, very slopey shoulders. Uh, that definitely isn't uh, power dressing 1980s style, is it? Uh, so, as you'd expect, tips into corners super easily, but doesn't have a huge amount of bite to hang on. Uh, but clears fast in all weathers. And it's just one of those tyres. It's your classic kind of old school that still works absolutely fine. Uh, XC tyre for people who want something that rolls fast but grips pretty well when you need it. Comes in uh, three compound options. Uh, this is the T5, uh, which is the faster rolling, harder wearing, uh, kind of, I put it on the rear in the UK, but you could run it on the front, no problem, if you're somewhere where it actually gets dusty and dry occasionally. In fact, the majority of the time. And then there's a T7, uh, which is the grippier option. That's quite a rare beast. You'd be doing well to find one of those, but that's the stickier, grippier, kind of max terror level compound. Really good front tire, if you like the way that the tread's arranged, you know, if you don't want super bite on the edges. Uh, that T7 is a really good grippy uh, all-rounder compound that still lasts reasonably well and rolls reasonably well. And then the S-Works, which is the absolutely terrifying Hyperlite version of this tyre, uh, comes in a T5, T7 split. So that's T5 down the centre and then T7 on the shoulder knob. So that's kind of the ultimate uh, uh, in terms of grip there, in terms of grip and rolling speed. But uh, as, can't let's talk about this S-Works. This S-Works is ridiculous. 610 grams for a 29 by 2.35 tire, which genuinely measures up as 29 by 2.35 or 59 and a half mil on a 30 mil internal tire. Uh, but it is just completely unprotected. It is properly raw dogging it. There's no sidewall protection. There's no puncture protection underneath it. But having said that, it doesn't seem any more fragile or, you know, freakishly needy than most lightweight tyres in the kind of 700, 750 gram arena. And I really see there's plenty of uh, old bits of sealant and mould in there. Uh, I've ridden these a lot across uh, Fast Track and Renegade tyres. And I've done some big old mileage across places like Snowdonia with a loaded bike and S-Works has still held up absolutely fine. So don't presume you're gonna pinch, you're gonna pinch flat or even thorn flat immediately if you go for S-Works. And if you're after ultimate performance, like I say, 610 grams, that's one of the lightest tires out there. But still, you know, it's still, it's, you know, it's not some comedy, uh, lightly treaded inner tube. It's a proper grippy dual compound tire that you can properly go hard on. And then the one you're more likely to come across, and it's probably more, most suitable to most riders, is the control carcass. So again, very light, uh, still under seven, is it under 700 grams? So I've actually I've brought up my bike perfect review here in the corner. Uh, fast track control T7 29 by 2.35. 710 grams in the T7 because the T7's uh, slightly heavier rubber compound. And then 690 in this T5. So again, really light tyre. And on this tyre, there's no sidewall protection. So again, uh, it's not like their grid XC tyres, which you can run pretty low pressures and you don't know, need to worry about uh, pinch protection on. Uh, this doesn't have any sidewall protection. So keep it you know, high teens, uh, low twenties in terms of pressure to keep it stable so it doesn't fold under heavy cornering loads. Although to be fair, there's less of a load on this just because the tire knobs tend to slide out before you're really crushing the carcass. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Uh, but it has got punch protection underneath the tread layer. So for your kind of everyday XC fast trail use, control carcass is probably the one to go for. Uh, but yeah, so uh, really good all round fast uh, rolling tread pattern. It's one of those tires you put on and it will immediately feel like you're going faster, not only because it's really light, 
but also because it's a naturally fast rolling tread pattern and it's quickly pretty quiet as well and i'd actually say am i might if i get a renegade on a bike or i just can be asked to stick one on a rim then i will talk you through the renegade but to be honest it look the renegade looks a lot faster and it's designed as a kind of desert speed tire but because it puts a lot more rubber on the ground i found in most conditions it actually feels slower than the fast track uh, from my point of view but if you don't agree uh, get busy in the comments and tell everyone about it that's the great thing about having comments I'm really particularly on these tyre reviews is I can only speak about how the tyre works in the conditions I ride in uh, but you guys are all over the world and so you can go I live somewhere where it's like this and I think this tyre sucks I really think this tyre is an absolute winner uh, so that's great so uh, read what you know watch what I'm saying and then have a look through the comments to see if there's someone who matches up with your more specific region to get their feedback but one thing I think we can all agree on at 30 quid for these tyres uh, I think even the S works aren't much more than that they are an apps they are an absolute bargain because uh, they're right up there in performance but less than half price compared to a lot of premium uh, tyres so uh, and last time well no penultimate time it's a bit weird uh, there was an offer this weekend where they specialised were running a two for one deal in the UK uh, on tyres but it doesn't seem to be there today so uh, Either check on the website or ask your dealer, but potentially you could get two tyres for 30 quid, which is, which is frankly ridiculous. I think that's about it, really. Yeah, fast track. It does what it says. Uh, you know, I would put the cheesy intro there, but it genuinely is a fast track tyre. And even for commuting, you'd be fine, even if you're running, you know, riding a lot of road and towpath. Uh, certainly on the T5, it'd last reasonably well, but wouldn't kill you as soon as you went off road. So um, thanks to Specialized for sending stuff in, but massive thanks to the people from the industry who do support me. That's really good of them, uh, much appreciated. They're on the wall behind me and I'll put their names at the end. So next time you're shopping for kit, if you could think of those guys, that'd be awesome uh, because they're the major reason that I can stand here talking to you in front of a GoPro rather than having to do other work for websites and stuff like that. And also, massive thanks to my Patreon subscribers whose names are scrolling up now. And they get early, exclusive and extended videos and they get them all ad-free as a thank you for virtually buying me a cup of tea and a biscuit every month. So if you really like what we're doing the channel, it would be a massive help if you could just jump on the Patreon channel and subscribe there. But click some buttons down below with subscribe and notifications and thumbs up like on them because that all helps YouTube know that you enjoy your video and tell your mates that there's an old man stood in his garage talking about uh, rubber rings for riding bicycles off-road in the dirt on. But for now, I've been Guy Kesteven talking far too much as usual about specialised fast track control S-Works tyres. An absolute bargain way to get your bike lighter, faster, without sacrificing too much in terms of survivability and... Uh, something else that's escaped me yeah they're just really good fast tires fast tracks there you go Ta -ra. i knew there was something else knew it and get the fast track uh control in a skin wall brown uh fancy fashionable retro uh same compound um uh, same carcass just uh control only and with the T5 compound. So there you go, hipsters. This is the one for you.